Okay, everyone, we're going to talk about MyFitnessPal. And this is one of the elements of MyFitnessPal that I just cannot leave out of this short five day series because I feel that I've introduced you guys to it. And it's one of the flaws that inherently sets people up for failure with MyFitnessPal. So I really feel we need to cover it just very briefly so that you know what you're dealing with. Okay, we've spoken about calories and we've spoken a little bit about uh, what it means to create a calorie deficit and that a calorie deficit can actually result in fat loss or in weight loss, okay? Now, when you sign up to MyFitnessPal, when you're logging your food, and again, logging your food, even for a short period of time, is a really, really good idea because if nothing else, it educates you as to what is actually in your food and the type of energy and the, the amount of energy that all of your food um has and can give you okay so they are the good elements of my fitness pal however when you log in and when you set up your account my fitness pal asks you how much weight you'd like to lose a week and of course we're all like yeah 10 pounds i'll have it gone in a week and then i don't have to watch my food anymore so of course we're naturally going to go for as much weight loss as possible in as short a time period as possible because then we have our results, we don't have to think about doing it anymore, and we can move on with our lives. But there's one element that my fitness belt doesn't really make very obvious to you. Okay, let's say your standard intake should be about 2000 calories a day. Your total energy requirements to stay the same for nothing to change is 2000 calories a day. Just pulling a number out of the sky here. Now, in order for you to lose one pound of body fat, one pound of body fat equates to approximately three and a half thousand calories. Okay, put that into the context of one week. You need to reduce your calorie intake by 500 calories a day. Now, there's a pretty big jump from 1500 calories to 2000 calories or from 2000 calories down to 1500 calories. That means you're either taking out a meal, you're taking out all your snacks, you know, it's a big jump for anyone to kind of try and change to. So what happens is people say, I want to lose two pounds a week because they don't understand this. They don't understand that one pound of body fat equates to three and a half thousand calories. So then you've got to be down 7,000 calories. So then you're setting yourself up for 1,000 calories a day. But my fitness pal won't allow you to come below 1200 calories a day. So my fitness pal will just tell you to eat 1200 calories a day. You're going to be hungry all the time. You're not getting enough nutrition. I promise you that you're not getting enough of those micronutrients, vitamins and minerals that you need to sustain health. So what can you actually do? Well, first and foremost, what lots of us are inclined to do is eat a balanced diet. We are more or less all of us, unless you're actively putting up weight, you're eating at maintenance. So sometimes just by making very, very small changes, you can actually lose weight very, very steadily and in a sustained fashion without making these massive changes and dropping to 1200 calories. My advice when you go on my fitness pal is to stick to maintenance. Okay, stick to maintenance calories. Tell my fitness pal you don't want to change anything. Once you've done that for two weeks and your weight hasn't gone up and it hasn't come down, then you know you're eating the right amount for what your body needs. And it's then you can start making changes like maybe cutting back on how much cheese you use on a day to day basis. Maybe having half and half regular cheese and low fat cheese. Maybe swapping out butter for two weeks to a lower fat spread. Maybe instead of having, I don't know, a Snickers, have a purple snack for your daily treat or whatever you want. Maybe start having a teaspoon of nut butter instead of a tablespoon of nut butter, or maybe switch out your nut butter altogether for something like a homemade hummus. So there are small changes you can make that don't require this massive 1000 calorie deficit that will allow you over time to lose weight. And remember, it's making the small, small changes now will result in big changes later. It's like when you want to drive your car around a corner, you, you don't go like this because you'd be into the ditch. You make a small alteration and that generally brings your car around to where you want it to be, but not suddenly, it takes a bit of time. So that's the last in the season guys, or in the series. I hope you enjoyed this short five day series. The good news is there is an entire month of these videos 
coming. And if you want to be the first to sign up to them, please respond to the email that I've sent you this link in and just say, put me down for the one month course. Okay, so it's just going to be a series of educational videos and giving you little snippets of information like this that won't be going live on my social media accounts. They're just for you. And at the end of that, you get discounted entry into the accountability groups if that's what you want to do. So guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're watching the videos and we'll talk to you soon.